I had my little Barbie doll house, and I used to enjoy rearranging the furniture. As I got older, I would walk into a friend's home or even a place of business, and if I saw that something could be better, I would recreate it and start organizing the space with their permission. Since she was a little girl, Mindy Noble's been organizing everything from paperwork to furniture. She did it for friends, then one day realized she could turn her love into her living. And I started meeting people that had businesses. I started offering them my services as well. And as people saw what a good job I did, and I did a lot of networking, people started hiring me. Everyone with a hobby they loved has probably dreamed of making money from it, whether it's a full-time job or just earning a little extra cash on the side. The key to making it happen? Well, getting organized. Step one, see if there's competition. If there is, that's good. It means there's a market. Also, check out some trade organizations. Step two, see if your product or service is competitive. Test it on family and friends, asking for an honest opinion. If you pass that test, then start selling yourself. I did public speaking. I did networking. I developed a website and marketing materials to match. And that's the way it starts. A consuming hobby, a market, then a marketing plan. The only other thing you need... I never say no to yourself. You know, with every, with every obstacle is a challenge, and with every challenge is an opportunity. Now, if you want to turn your hobby into a business, there's lots of other stuff you need to know, including where to go for free help. So what you need now is some links and some information. They're both waiting for you at moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for hobby into business. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.